they will not escape judgment. <laughs> Nigerians, this matter will shock you. How Igbo leaders, Igbo political leaders, and uh, Igbo traditional rulers are against Mazen Namdi Kano's release. And now the question is, who are those people coming out to say, oh, leave our son, release our son? You know, so then they talk, say, the worst enemy of a man is your, is from your household. When the person, when they say, he, now your family, they do you. If they, they had, make you get yourself. Because this one, now your blood, now you, they do you. Then they talk, say, outsiders, no go just, you know, no go just get that free hand. Come, they walk against you. So something is seriously going on on the ground. And you are going to be shocked to hear this shocking revelation. Before we hit the news, I beg, if you didn't join us for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. Please share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape and in the Southeast as well. Please subscribe, I beg, subscribe to this channel. The global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by the indefeatable liberator, Mazinam the Kano, Chiku Keke Kano, expresses concern over the collaboration between the federal government of Nigeria and some Igbo leaders to jail the IPOB leader, Mazinam the Kano. IPOB movement understands that the gang of criminal politicians and traditional rulers were behind the questionable decision of the Supreme Court judgment against Mazenam de Kano. On the 15th of December 2023, the evil plot of the Nigerian government, their evil criminal collaborators, and the Nigerian court judges against Mazenam de Kano and IPOB will backfire. IPOB has been painstakingly following their enigrants. Gently, and we respond proportionately in due time. The desperation to destroy Mazinam de Kano and to save the fast dying Nigeria will destroy Nigeria faster. Those working to destroy Nam de Kano should know that their evil plots and activities are being monitored. None of their conspirators and their families will be spread. Should they continue to play games with Mazenam de Kano's life and right to liberate? As we have said before, this honorable, this honorable Benjamin Kahlo is now the current man who has taken on the job to destroy Mazenam de Kano and Ipo. The decision to lobby Supreme Court Justice not to release Mazenam de Kano during the 15th December uh, judgment was taken at the Abuja resident of Benjamin Kahlo. The plan of the federal government and their evil collaborators is to use the unending court process to keep Mazenam de Kano in illegal detention as they look for other ways to destroy IPOP. That was why the compromised Supreme Court judges upheld international crimes of kidnapping and extraordinary rendition of Mazenam de Kano. The Supreme Court justice knew very well that extraordinary rendition is an international crime against Mazinam de Kano, and that Mazinam de Kano has no case to answer based on the appeal court judgment of 13th October 2023. Nevertheless, the corrupt and the coward on the Supreme Court bench bent the laws and supported the legal and unlawful persecution of Mazinam de Kano. Benjamin Kahlo has a, a mandate to lobby in the Igbo, and through the uncommon love they have for Mazen Namdekan. He was rewarded with security votes about a 50, B, a 50 billion naira to share with people within the five Southeast states during the Christmas season. The money was to claim the, to calm the nerves of Biafrans and to mobilize traditional rulers to fish out IPOP uh, stroke ESN operatives in the 95 local government of the southeastern state. However, this plan is dead on arrival. Biafran's love for Mazenam de Kano 
cannot be bought or judged. The supposed launch of Peace P on the day of the 29th December 2023 and the confinement of chief tenancy titles to a certain individuals at Benjamin Carlos' hometown in Abia was a smooth screen to an earlier event of President and the Vice President Chief Tenancy titles confinement in Okpo by Arthur Ize's brother, who is a traditional ruler. The gathering of those conspirators from the federal government of Nigeria and Igbo enemies is part of the devilish plan to solicit the support of Indigo to Jehu Mazinam de Kanu indefinitely. It is part of the gang up to destabilize the Southeast through the traditional rulers. What has President Bola Metunubo and his Vice President Alaji Shetima done for Indigo that warranted the confirmation of the Chief Tenancy titles to them? How can these evil men keep Mazinam de Kanu, the liberator of Indigo, in illegal detention? And some Igbo criminals, traditional rulers, confirm Chief Tenancy titles on them? We wait for time to tell. This Honorable Benjamin Kahlo should stop the contract from the enemies of Biafran, or Kiwi pronounced as the number one enemy of Indigo. It should stop his deceitful utterances and genuinely tell his sponsors that the plan to imprison Mazen Namdekan will put him, Benjamin Kahlo, and other Igbo collaborators on a confusion case with the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. The collaborators have responsibilities to ensure that Mazinam de Kanu released on or before the next court appearance. Mazinam de Kanu is political prisoner of conscience in Nigeria and Africa today. All these collaborators will not escape the judgment and venomous anger of their friends if they fail to do the needful and ensure that Mazinam de Kanu is released. He who fetches an infested firewood would in as is expect lizard as guest. Though I pop is peaceful, we also bite and we bite hard on those who want to destroy us. Comrade, Emma, powerful, and uh, the, the the media and publicity secretary for IPOP is a one that stated this. So guys, how do you see this? How do you see this? Do you believe in what he have just said? That Igbo leaders are the one going against Mazinam the Canon's release. And if yes, what is the reason? Why would they be doing this? How can you be eating your own flesh? I not understand. I beg, make you share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by.